So your staff has begun publishing a bunch of ClickSense applications now, which is phenomenal. The problem that you're having is now you're beginning to question, gee, how do we consume this data? We know that the business analysts are going to go into the applications that they've either constructed themselves or that they're aware of. They're going to be able to go through all their analytics. But how do you let other executives, directors, managers, supervisors in your company access the data that they need? You already have company portals, whether they're just pure ASP um, applications that are available, whether they're websites that you've built that are just pure HTML, whether it may be a SharePoint portal specifically to surface data. ClickSense does provide a way for you to take the objects that are within these applications and consume those in a pure HTML way. All we're going to do from the hub is collect, select click dev hub that's going to bring up another tab that's going to allow us to work with things this dev hub is an integrated development environment or ide that any of your um, web developers or programmers or traditional microsoft type developers are going to be used to using and we simply pick the, the tool that we want to use i'm going to pick single configurator first and demonstrate the easiest of the ways to consume these what we can do for a single object is, is it lets us pick the application. I'm going to select clinical variants. It's going to then display a list of all of the objects that are available with an application. I choose an object. It would then display it for me so that I know if that's the one I'm looking at. Now I can take either the URL and copy that or I can take the iframe source if I want to copy that out to the clipboard and then paste that into some other HTML consumption tool whether it's a, a, a web part or whether it's just a pure HTML page that I want this to just be part of that and I may surround this with other text that explains um, how the objects got built when the data is refreshed those kind of things the stuff that you would typically have out on a portal the other one that we can look at, though, is a mashup better. This lets us consume multiple objects together in a way that they would be interacting with each other. So all we do for this is we're going to say I want to create a new project, and this is going to be my YouTube mashup example. I can choose a template, and again, this is typical stuff that your developers are going to go through, and you can control what templates are available, what they do, what they look like, the style sheets, the whole deal, and we'll see that in a minute. One of your options is just a mashup template, which is just going to be a four-quadrant box. I'm going to pick the basic single-page mashup. I create it. It's going to take a second. It's going to go off and build all of the stuff for me that I would typically use. You'll see that this is actually going to have a pretty nice web page look to it. Again, all of this is customizable. You can control what these things say, what images you show, and so forth. The basic layout for this is, hey, let's have a couple of big objects. Let's have a couple of different objects. And now, how do I put objects out here? This would seem in most cases like it would be hard but this is very simple I'm gonna pick a clinical variance app again and just like we could then take those single objects and then put it into something else all we're doing here is we're gonna drag and drop in what we want and so now my mashup page is gonna contain this activity levels by age group I could either put other objects in from this same application or here's where this mashup gets really awesome. I can choose completely different applications. And I can say, gee, here I like to see the, the information based on visits versus blood pressure. And now I'm constructing this portal in a way that allows whoever's going to consume this data to see data from completely different applications. And that's kind of the beauty of this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and pick one more. I'm going to pick the hospital readmissions application. And now here we've got some options. I'm going to pick the hospital patient age groups. 
And now here maybe we want a couple of small objects as well. And I can pick the condition distribution so that it's visual. And I can see some geocoded information, that type of thing. And then I've built this. This is just a web page. I can say, hey, I'd like to go view this mashup that I just built. If I were to do that, you'll see what this HTML looks like. Again, you could then take this HTML and simply consume it in something else because all it is is just a web page. And we did all that really just by pointing and clicking. Yeah, your company may want a different look and feel, a different size for the objects, and that's fantastic. You can build those things. You can change the templates. The beauty is you do not have to build one giant ClickSense application that has the data for every single thing in it just so your CIO can have a dashboard that shows her a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of that or your CFO can see information from the hospital system as well as different physician groups. That stuff can just get mashed together and presented and consumed in whatever your typical portal is. Gotta say, that's pretty slick stuff. Hope you're going to love it.